I am baffled by this carnivore diet. Yes. I'm baffled. Yes. Now, I'm baffled by how many people are are clinging to it as a panacea. I'm yeah. baffled by whether or not it's a physiological effect or whether there's a placebo effect going on. I have a theory. Please. Yeah. So my theory is that it mimics some of the benefits of fasting, um, but allows people to persist for longer because it's providing some nutrition. You know, most if you look in the scientific literature, fasting is like the cure-all for everything. I agree with you. <laughs> it, yes. I mean, like you can look at any condition yeah. and fasting is the cure. Yeah, we're talking water fasting, so you can yeah. do it for two, three, four right. weeks. The problem is try that for yeah. a year. <laughs> you yeah. know? It, right. That will be the cure for life in that case. <laughs> well, um, the longest <laughs> example is a year of water fasting. So actually. most people That's are that not- That guy that lost, uh, it was yeah, 300 Yeah, he was, he was extremely yeah. obese. Right. You know, yeah, he was yeah. living, a lot of energy living, stores living to Living off use of his right. fat stores, right. Well, the fascinating thing about that was that he actually, his skin shrank too. Right. Which is really... No, yeah, which doesn't yeah. usually happen with weight yeah. loss. So uh, this is just a theory. I have nothing to... Okay. Uh, you know, I don't have any evidence, but when you, eat, meat is absorbed very high up in the digestive tract. And so when you only eat meat, it's a low residue diet and there's nothing left over to irritate or inflame the gut. My theory is a lot of people who are benefiting from this have a really disrupted gut microbiome. Alessio Fasano has argued that leaky gut is kind of a precondition for autoimmunity. And this, the carnivore diet is essentially like a gut rest or a fast. And so I don't, you know, doubt that people are benefiting from it. The question is, what is the long-term implication? Well, there is no, I mean, there's a few people that have been doing it. There's some anecdotal evidence. People have yeah. been doing it for a few decades. Well, you know, it's pretty cool. I'm actually going on my homeboy, Sean Baker's podcast in a few weeks. We're, you we, guys we, are homeboys? We start, Sean and I started as enemies. We love each other. Sean, I love you, brother. We're going to have an honest discussion as much as you can to say, why is Michaela Peterson feeling good? And you got to love that and honor that. If she had done one water fasting, transitioning to an ultra clean diet, which you have done as well, who knows? But to look at Sean Baker's labs and say, pre-diabetic, low testosterone, high uh, BUN, I'm concerned, although he just published his coronary calcium scan of zero, and I honor that. He's got little kids. I don't want the guy to drop dead, but you know, there's, it's way preliminary for the bandwagon the that's growing. The problem with the testosterone thing, though, is yeah. he said that he had been deadlifting the day before, and uh, the day before he took his test. Could yeah. that have significantly well, it, decreased it, his testosterone? It, well, he said he repeated it a few times and it stayed low, but if your serum total... Yeah, it, said, it raised it, quite a it bit. It could have. It didn't I think raise, it raised by 100%. Nah, it was it's too, it was like 237. I can't memorize his labs. But it's there's low, though. There's plenty of data. If your serum total testosterone is less than 250, it's an adverse mortality predictor. And, you know, he wants to be alive. He doesn't need to do it. Michaela Peterson and Jordan might need to do it until they find a better path. Mm -hmm. but Sean's, is, you know, uh, adopted it. So there's, you know, the biggest puzzle is, let quickly, quickly, one of the things that plant-based eaters and uh, people that fill three quarters of their plate with fruit and vegetables get way more than everybody else's lots of vitamin C. And vitamin C builds healthy walls and builds healthy immune systems. You love vitamin C. I love vitamin C. I love it from foods. I don't mind it as a supplement. I don't mind it intravenous. Vitamin C is Linus Pauling. There's so many uh, uh, benefits to the body. Where are these people when every chart says that meat has no vitamin C? Are they eating raw meat, which might have vitamin C? Are they eating organ meat, which might have some vitamin well, let me, C? Let me stop you there because I'll tell you what the ex explanation has been to yeah. me. The explanation to me has been that there is a decrease in absorption of vitamin C when you're consuming vitamin C with all these other things, cruciferous vegetables, right. carbohydrates, right. all it, these different things. Right. That there's some sort of... a there's an adverse effect. Is that is that a fact? Well, it, the pers if you take 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, you'll absorb a lot of it. If you take 10,000 milligrams, uh, by percentage, you won't absorb as much, but you'll still get more than 1,000 milligrams. Right. But there's also this theory that since they're eating basically a no-added glucose diet, that there's some kind of competition in us yes. between glucose and C. So even if they right. get a, a touch of C, they're absorbing it hyper-efficiently. Nobody knows. They and haven't developed scurvy. And they're getting scurvy. Their glucose from glucogenesis. Uh, internally, right, because they're adding, you know, surely it's a low-carb diet. No doubt about it. They get a, a, little, a, little, a little alpha gal in there, maybe. That's well, about I, the only I, curb. I think, I mean, the point is we just don't know. We don't know. Right. And, and I, It I, seems I, so I, risky. I, and I like vegetables. I love I, vegetables. I like yeah. to eat them. I, mean, I, eat, I eat vegetables with essentially every single meal. Yeah, yeah. that's very smart. As I Me told too. you, it's an antidote, if yeah. nothing else. I mean, it's awesome. But 
I do think that it's entirely possible that maybe it's people that have this disrupted mu gut bi microbiome, but that some people might be alert. Like one of the things that Michaela Peterson brought up when she was on the podcast, that it, it might very well be that she's allergic to almost everything. She has right. some sort of an allergic reaction. You, I think you both think that that could be because of a fucked up. Got my no head doubt, on. absolutely, it's absolutely. She yeah. just hasn't had her evaluated. She she started to laugh when I talked to my naturopath. That's what she should have kept on doing and gotten her gut analyzed and gotten her gut healed. I mm. mean, maybe that would have helped her. It's, you know, the problem with those naturopaths. It's like good psychics. Can I like, try to find one? And right. the other so, thing is, you know, my field, atherosclerosis, takes years to develop. But unless he's tracking carotid and coronary and doing it year after year after year, you know, it's an experiment you might not want to run. But if you Sean can find, did run those tests. It, 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 and baseline, baseline, baseline. Yeah. Baseline, yeah. Some, yeah. some nutrient deficiencies also take many years yeah. to develop. Yeah. Right. So, so, so that's another thing know, to consider. It's recognized, again, by the American insurance industry that there's only two dietary plans that can reverse heart disease. There's no meat in those programs. Mm -hmm. They're plant-based programs. If that's all a plant-based diet could do, reverse the number one or two killer of men and women, shouldn't that kind of be the default diet to prove and otherwise? And the fact that it can also prevent arrest and reverse other leading killers like type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure would seem to make the case for plant-based eating simply overwhelming. The British Dietetic Association and the American Academy of Dietitians have both said that a well-planned vegan diet can be a completely healthful and optimal diet for anyone at all stages of life. Every diet requires a little bit of thinking, a little bit of learning some new tricks in the kitchen, maybe learning some new tastes. But a plant-based diet emerges as not only better for blood sugar control, better for your weight, better for your cholesterol, better for your blood pressure, but better in so many ways that we really think that's the thing to recommend.